Hey guys, Byron here from HobbyKing.com. I've got a couple new models to show you in the Assault Helicopter lineup. And uh, these we're pretty excited about. Uh, these have been in the works for a little bit here, and uh, so they are finally ready. And you can check these out on our new items page. So uh, the first one we're going to talk about, this is a brand new model for the lineup. This is the Assault 450L. And uh, what this is, this is a, uh, a long version of the 450 class helis. Uh, some uh, classify these as a 480 class, and uh, it's quite popular. Uh, in fact, uh, now it's becoming pretty much the standard for the 450 size helicopters. Um, the deal with these, if you're not familiar, is they're actually longer, uh, hence the name, the, the 450L, uh, than a standard 450. And uh, what that facilitates is the use of longer blades. So uh, with these, a the standard blade length is 360 millimeter. So I uh, get you a larger blade, larger disc, uh, disc area, uh, and also the standard power setup on these is 6S. So very, very powerful setup, great for hardcore 3D. And we also have the standard 450 uh, helicopter here as well, which I'll go uh, uh, more deep into the details on that here in just a bit. So uh, sticking with the 450L, let me take the canopy off for you so you can see inside here. Uh, one of the main differences between these two models, obviously other than the length, uh, this frame layout is completely different than the standard 450. Uh, first thing you notice is a much larger canopy. So this is a fiberglass canopy, and um, this is uh, quite bigger than the, uh, the original canopy on the 450 DFC. Now, the frame layout, again, is completely different. Uh, this is set up like a lot of our larger uh, helicopter models, such as the Assault 700, for example. Uh, it features a top mount motor, which is uh, great for easy access. The standard 450s, uh, the motor is mounted uh, from the bottom, and it's, uh, it can be a bit of a pain to take in and take out uh, if you need to do a replacement or uh, you know adjustment, something like that. Uh, this mounts just from the top here, which is very convenient, very easy. Um, as well as the battery. So the battery is actually mounted internally inside the frame rather than uh, on the top front of the frame, which I'll show you here in a bit on the standard 450. So this has a quick release setup. You've got the little tab here that's spring loaded. You pull that up and your battery tray comes right out. So what you'll do is just apply Velcro onto this battery tray. The battery mounts inside and it's very clean. Uh, it gives you a very uh, uh, tight, uh, low center of gravity fit for the battery. So it keeps everything very clean inside the frame and keeps your uh, central mass close to the main shaft, which is most important for uh, 3D helicopters. So I'm going to put this back inside here. Now, uh, the next thing moving along, this is a DFC rotor head. So it's got direct flight control. So you notice uh, basically eliminates all the linkages between the um, uh, swash and the blade grips. You've only got one set of links, which are your DFC arms. Uh, so it's not like the, uh, some of the standard fly bar systems, which have a uh, set of uh, mixing arms there as well. Uh, or, of course, on the older fly bar helis, which uh, had your uh, seesaw and mixing arms. So very simple setup, and it uh, gives you very direct, precise control. Okay, so the main rotor head on this is all aluminum. It's all machined and very beautifully finished. So you've got metal blade grips, the head block, swash plate, and a rotation bracket, everything here, including the uh, main bearing blocks, all aluminum, all very nicely machined. Now, the main frame itself is carbon fiber, and uh, we're using now a matte finish carbon. Uh, it's very, very nice looking and uh, is, is real carbon fiber. It's not the laminated uh, fiberglass that you uh, see on some of the uh, older heli kits that we've had in the past. So very, very nice, very lightweight, very rigid. This is a shaft-driven tail setup. So everything here, uh, uh, basically, uh, you've got a shaft drive. You've got your uh, torque tube gears at the front and at the rear. Uh, gives you very precise control, very uh, maintenance-free setup. It's very nice. Uh, also, at the back here, you'll see the alloy... Um, basically uh, the spacers here between the boom clamps. So this makes everything very rigid in the tail. Again, just uh, you know, really good setup for uh, 3D flight. Now the uh, push rod for the tail, this is carbon fiber and uh, also very rigid and just gives you really precise control for your tail. Now on the tail rotor itself, uh, this does feature thrust bearings in addition to radial bearings. So uh, very, very good for high speed because obviously you're gonna be pumping some uh, RPMs through this model with the 6S setup. And again, uh, just a bit more to mention on the tail is, again, all machined from uh, aluminum. Uh, the only thing plastic at the back is just your links here between the uh, blade grips. Now, this kit comes basically as you see it as far as what's included. There's no electronics. It does come with the tail blades, comes with a fiberglass canopy. It does require assembly, and you, of course, will have to add all of your own electronics. So moving on, the other model I want to show you here is uh, basically this is an upgrade uh, to our existing HK450 series. So they're now being replaced with the Assault 450 uh, DFC kit. Now this is a bit of a more basic kit than the Assault 450L. Now it's still quite nice, uh, just this is a setup for more of your traditional setup such as a 3S power system. Going into this, you're going to notice there's a bit more plastic on this model. So things like the uh, battery tray here, plastic, uh, the entire tail boom assembly is plastic. But uh, we are using the real carbon fiber uh, frame, so your side plates are uh, true carbon, again the matte finish which is very nice. 
all aluminum heads. So you've got your metal blade grips, metal uh, swash plate, metal boom blocks, very nice. Uh, the tail setup on this are actually, there's gonna be two versions. I'm only showing you one today, but this is a shaft driven tail version. We're also gonna have a belt variant as well. So uh, it's up to you, uh, you know, some of you guys uh, may prefer belts over the shaft driven, especially if you're a newer pilot, uh, the belt can be a bit more forgiving uh, in the case of tail strikes or uh, something like that. So uh, this features just a standard uh, uh, push rod here. It's not carbon, um, but uh, we will have uh, optional upgrade parts for that if you want to change it, but this actually works quite well in its stock form. Now, one last thing that I forgot to mention on the 450L that is uh, worth noting, this uh, features a helical main gear. Uh, so it's very good for power transfer and also very quiet uh, in comparison to your standard uh, cut gears, which we've got on the 450 DFC. So you want to check this out, guys. These are our two newest models from the Assault lineup. Be sure to check them out on the new items page. Uh, again, for this uh, 450 DFC, uh, we, we are having two versions. There'll be a belt and a shaft driven. Uh, the 450L just comes in the shaft drive setup only. So check them out, guys. Our newest uh, kits in the Assault lineup. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our YouTube videos as well.